Hey, welcome back to Be Creative Stamping and my Be Creative Stamping Studio. My name is Tammy Shia and I have been a demonstrator for seven years and I probably have been stamping for about nine. So for a very long time I have wanted my own creative place and um, I have spent the last two months reorganizing my room and um, redesigning the room as well. So let's get started. Every morning when I walk into my stamping studio, this quote is the first thing that I see. Now right now I am backing up because I want to get to the entrance of the room. So this is the first thing that I see every morning. So it definitely inspires me. I just love reading that every day. So here's the entrance to the room. And what I'm going to do is give you a general tour. And then over the next week, I'm going to do separate videos of um, each piece of furniture, how I organized it, and um, just in general, um, how the entire room uh, functions. So anyway, as you can see, I do have a stamping island, which I absolutely love, and that'll be a separate video. I'll go into great detail on how I um, decided to organize this and how it was created. So when you come into the room, on my left here, you will see my desk, and it is by IKEA. It's a white finish, and I decided to do all my furniture in white that came from Ikea. I've also added some natural wood pieces as well. So here we are. I'm just going to rotate around here so that you can get a good look at my desk. It's really big, and I wanted a large uh, work area so I could sit down and stamp. And so here's the desk. And I've actually made a list of all the IKEA products that I've used in my room with the um, links as well so that you can look it up on the internet. So here's the desk and I'm going to go walk over here closer and it has this piece that you can pull out. So now that I've pulled it out, it becomes an L-shaped desk. And I love this. It gives me even more room than what I had before. So now we'll come a little bit closer to the desk. Um, I also have my computer here. And you'll notice that this is on a rubber mat to protect the work surface. And I even um, purchased that from Ikea. They were in the office section. I don't believe that they are on the internet though. Um, let's see what else I've got here. I always um, like to post a card that I've created recently and this was a Hostess Club card last month so um, to me that's art. Um, and this little stand that it's on um, is a whitewash finish as well with burlap and I did purchase that from Michaels um, about a month ago. So Anyway, this will give you an idea how my desk is. I've got some files over here and paper clips and a canister and just um, various little things. So to the side of the desk, you're going to notice my punches. And yes, I have quite a few. So here they are. And um, this is, um, when you walk into my room, you don't see this at all. So it doesn't hit you in the face. Um, but these are Beigel rails and um, they're from Ikea and I've had these for quite a few years but um, they do still sell them and you can store um, seven punches on a rod and um, here they are. They fit the whale tail punches as well as their new punches. So that'll give you an idea of how I do that. And here's some handheld punches that I have stored here on the end with the crop dial and my fringed scissors. So this is probably the biggest wall in my room. And um, I've got about 12 Beigel rails that I've used here. 
All right, so if you turn this way, and let me show you again where my desk is so that you get an idea of where this piece of furniture is located. So here's my desk, I'm walking in, and the first thing I see here are my ink pads, my ink refills, and my markers. And that was purchased from Stamp and Storage, and I'll come over here and get a, a closer look at it. I used quite a bit of their products, and I find them to be a very high quality, very well made, and very functional. And so here you go, here are all my ink pads. I'll even go a little bit closer, but I'll go into greater detail about my stamp and store storage products as, um, as each video goes on. So that's what I have located here. I added some lamps with uh, burlap shades and um, some netting for bows. And then I've got these little containers here that I put electronics in, like my movie camera and my, uh, my regular camera and charging cords. And then here's another piece of IKEA furniture right here. And this piece of furniture is really functional. It can, it can um, set up just like it is right now, or you can actually turn it and, um, and, and have it going uh, in a vertical position. So um, I like it this way. It's right behind my desk. I've got some extra light. And the containers that are stored um, in these cubbies, they also came from Ikea, and they are listed on my Ikea sheet. And you'll be able to download that from my blog. So if you're on the YouTube channel, head on over to my blog so you can check out all the links of all the products that I've used. So, I'll go into more detail about what I have there in the days ahead. And then, if you rotate to the right, you'll see my stamping island. Super excited about that. You'll see a carousel of Stampin' Up! Um, ink pads. And then over here, you're going to see my Big Shot station. Now, this is a piece of This End Up Furniture. Uh, my husband and I bought this 25 years ago when we got married. So it's a really functional piece. It's actually two pieces. Uh, the top is one piece and the bottom or the base of the cabinet is a separate piece. But this has become my big shot area. And um, anyway, I've got all my dies here. And I've got the labels sticking out so I can read those and know which die I need. And my Silhouette Electronic Cutter is there as well as my Textured Boutique. And I've got a window right here as you can see so I get a, a lot of nice light. Second shelf, more dies. And I've got my Framelits and Thinlets stored here. This is from Stampin' Storage and I'll go into detail on a separate video with that. And here are some more items here and my embossing folders. And then on the bottom shelf, I have my large paper cutter for when I'm cutting for classes and when I'm cutting lots of cardstock. And as you can see, I've got some great light here with the window. And then here are some dies, the shorter dies. And this box right here is from Stampin' Up! And it's um, covered in canvas. And um, I've got various Big Shot items there as well. Dies and just different things that I use from time to time. I am now standing right in front of my Big Shot station. And so now what's facing me is this wall that has another IKEA uh, unit. And this one has 16 of these square cubbies. So I'll do a separate video. I'll go into detail about what I've included in my boxes. And um, you'll get to see all my papers. That's a separate video on, on organizing cardstock and designer papers. I will show you my blendabilities. That's from Stampin' Storage. So I've stored all my markers there. And um, I'll just give you a, uh, another view of the entire 
of the entire piece of furniture. Here's my desk, so you know where that is in the house. And right in front of my desk is this piece of furniture. And so every morning, I can sit at my desk and I can look at all the cardstock and just see a beautiful color palette. I mean, I just absolutely love looking at it. Stampin' Up's just done such a great job um, with their colors. So there you go. The lamps were recently purchased at Michael's and actually the, um, the print is also new and that is from Joann's. So I've been to all kinds of places, just shopping um, and thinking of organizational ideas, and it's, it's been a lot of fun. So I'm going to take a left, and again, here's the Stamping Island right here. I want you to just get an idea of where I am in the room. I'm going to go over here to Under the Window, and there's our printer, which I use every day. And here's a piece of furniture. It's called the Alex Drawer System. And this is from Ikea. And I will go into detail in a separate video on what's included in each drawer. So you can get an idea of what I was thinking of. And then if we look up and over, you'll see my ribbon center. And you'll also see this organizational uh, system right here. This is from Ikea as well. And um, I just love all the buckets, and the ribbon was an afterthought, and I'm, I'm just so glad that I actually thought of it, because I just think it makes it so cute, and it really makes it pop. So I'll quickly show you what's in these, and I won't make that a separate video. In the small bucket, I've got blender pens, aqua painter, painters, I've got um, the white chalk markers, white gel pen and I even have these little guys right here the little Stampin' Misters so you can see what's there and then over here is my cleaning area um, adhesive remover crystal effects Stampin' Mist stays on cleaner my color um, wheel is there the cards and so um, this is really great for storing those items and then if you look down at the second rod in this small bucket, you'll see all my adhesives, my bone folder, ribbon scissors, paper snips and rollers, a couple of ink pens, and then right here, I have my clear blocks. So um, I can stand at my island, island, and if I need anything, all I have to do is turn to the right, and I am there. So this is how close I am to my stamping island. All right, I think that concludes. I'll just do a panoramic view for you so you can see another angle of the room. And stay tuned. Please stop by every day and check out all the videos. I'm super excited to share this with you and I hope it will help you in designing your room. So for now, thanks so much for buzzing by.